them in Teleco Plains, Tennessee. I'm right practically on the tat here. Heading north. Doing everything south of here. So I came up here to do a bit of a shakedown ride. late in the day so I'm gonna try to find a place to camp. Stopped at a Hardee's back there. Got a hamburger. I hope everybody is doing well. See you a little further down the Cherahola Highway, I guess. Well, I just had to take my first detour. Had a road closed back there. like a long drive out of North Georgia to get up here today. But this is my first tat adventure of 2024. Maybe you can see that right there. It's supposed to be on that blue line. closest way to get back. Unfortunately it's blocked too. So, wow. I would have still missed a lot even with that. Okay, I gotta figure something else out. Lake View overlook on the Cherahall Highway. See a long way down there. I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> I can't even. Absolutely gorgeous up here.
stuff too, trying to figure out where I'm going. Seem to be having difficulties. Got a lot of these roads blocked. A lot of stickers. Bluegrass forever. There was a buddy of mine that was really into that. He retired right before me. He had one of those stickers on the back of his truck. But he didn't make it long. Cancer got him about a year later. Well, I made it to North Carolina. I think I'm about to cross the route. About 30 miles from Robbinsville, the sign said. Let's have another detour sign. Uh oh, I'm back on the tap. I think I gotta get used to gravel again. Pretty loose right here. That's much better.
Okay, this is where I'm camping. I hope I've got a good SD card in it this time. I lost some video today because evidently the SD card was bad. It kept giving an error of slow write speed. And uh, I tried reformatting it. That didn't help. I know I've got some video files on there. But anyway... I missed a lot of the dirt road stuff. I had to take a big detour. And then I got turned around. I was headed back toward Teleco Plains. And finally, I'm heading back uh, down into South Carolina now toward Andrews. I think of maybe 15, 20 miles away, maybe 30. Who knows on this dirt road. Way back up top of the mountain, I was 30 by highway. Probably a little more going this way. It's chilly in here. I put up the tent. Wind was blowing pretty good when I got here. It's still blowing, but it's mostly over my head now. Beautiful weather, though. And I'm going to go ahead and make some dinner. Rest a while. I'm exhausted. Right behind my campsite. I listened to this all night. Good morning, everybody. A quick update. I am in the Natahila. I hope I'm saying that right, National Forest. I should be able to say that. It's almost in my backyard. Well, not really, but it's a lot closer to home than the Rocky Mountains. It's cold in these mountains, too. Uh, there's where I camp. I'm out for a shakedown ride, I guess. See what all I can find wrong. Uh, so far, I've had an SD card failure, and my GPS won't read my SD card with the TAT tracks, but I've got some downloaded from Sam Carrero, so it does show that all right. And uh, I'm going to mosey on through North Carolina and Tennessee a little more, I think, later. Back on track. I think. <laughs> Probably need to stop, make sure I haven't got the colors mixed up. Pretty sure I'm going right though. I've seen a science that teleco yet. Either way, I'm getting somewhere. They don't know it's where, but I'm going somewhere. <laughs> I'm just out riding. I'm pretty sure I remember. 
remember this place. I think the Appalachian Trail comes out right behind that gray truck. Goes, yep, there's a white blaze. Yeah, hiked through here. Sure did. I think there's a shelter I had lunch at not too far back in there. Would stop and take a break here, but it's, yeah, I've had enough breaks this morning. Back in my old stomping grounds, literally. <laughs> a lot of foot stomping through this these mountains. I'm probably going to remember a lot of the Appalachian Trail as I go through here. I'm sure I'll cross it again. Coming down from Teleco Gap. Old house way out here. Well, there was a jeep come around a corner, and I know he wasn't expecting to find nobody out here. He had to slam the brakes. If I'd been in a car, we probably had a head on, but. I got over to the right and went around him. Well, I had room, but he was real surprised to see somebody, I think. A real sharp curve. Well, what we got going on down here? Short section of pavement. Huh. I just wonder if they're going to pave this road. Looks like it'd start from the other end if they are. Down here lower and come back. I have seen a lot of construction this trip so far. Like maybe I'm out of the gap. It's a neat old place. I like these old houses. I go left, it looks like. Beautiful, beautiful place. They got slow children signs everywhere, so I'm gonna eat it. Well, this thing looks pretty deep. I guess I try and see. I can see where a motorcycle went. A little bit to the left. All I can do is try. Whoa, that son of a bitch was deep. Ah, I'm soaked to my ass. You notice how dark it's got? Looks like rain clouds.
another one. Oh, Nelly. I don't know which one's better. Maybe it don't really matter. Here is deep. It's the other one. So this is where I found the camp. There was another one that was nicer down below. And that was a steep climb up this hill. But uh, there was another one nicer down below, but it had a log across. It was too big to saw and too big to jump. So I found this one. It's kind of got a mud hole in the middle of it. does have a view. I think I come from way back in there somewhere. <laughs> 